It's the first pop-up dinosaur theme park in the world. Saved from extinction. It's Dino Town Live. Everybody's here. We got Dusty Bones and uh, his wife Dinah. We got Dee Dee and Dexter and Flapper's new uh, the pet. So we got a new uh, show with Flapper in it as well. The show happens three times a day, alternating with a dance party. Where else in the world can you dance with dinosaurs? Only in Cloverdale, turns out, right? Like BC's famous Dino Town that closed in 2010, they cater to families with kids 12 and under. New to the Cloverdale location, inflatable fun. We've got inflatables for all the age groups. We've got a, a Fun Time Express, which was similar to the train that we had at Dino Town. With the hot weather, we just bought a brand new uh, inflatable water slide. For the more adventurous kitties. This is as crazy as the uh, roller coaster at the p &E for little ones. This is the Ninja Soar. I guess it's a good thing the teeth aren't sharp, hey? Very good, yeah. <laughs> Not sharp, but it is steep. It's got a 65-foot slide on it. It's 40 feet high. Wow. Not Let's the kind of thing it. you're going to see in your backyard. No, though. not at all. This is a one-of-a-kind. <laughs> Another first for the world here at Dino Town Live, a pedal-powered dinosaur. You'll also find some mementos from the old days of Dino Town. Dee Dee's pink Corvette, is that what we're sitting in? That's it. This is the one and only. And even from the original Flintstones Bedrock City that first opened in Bridal Falls back in 1975. This pink car used to belong to Barney Rubble. Rob L. and his family have owned the park since the beginning. And as some things change, some things remain the same. So in the old days, you were the mayor of Dino Town. Are you still now that I'm you're out in Cloverdale? I'm still the mayor. Really? I'm how, does, uh, how does Diane Watts feel about that? She loves it. Really? I've She's okay Diane with that? I've met Diane Watts many times. Yeah. Yeah. She got a real chuckle out of that. 